Today, I'm gonna to show you the recipe for a healthy smash cake that I made for my daughter's first birthday. The idea is to use just a few simple ingredients that you probably already have on hand. There's no added sugar, and all of the ingredients are clean and healthy for your baby. Lila loved her cake, not only for the fun sensory experience, but she loved eating it as well. So let me show you how to make it. All you need for this recipe is some oats, bananas, applesauce, coconut oil, egg, baking soda, and cinnamon. Start by grinding one cup of oats to create an oat flour. Then in a large mixing bowl, add a banana and a half. And mash it up really well. Continue to add the rest of the wet ingredients. So that's one egg, one fourth a cup of coconut oil, and two thirds a cup of applesauce. I used one of these squeeze pouches and it's 3.2 ounces. Use a hand mixer to mix all of those ingredients and then add in the dry ingredients. So that's one cup of oat flour, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and a teaspoon of baking soda. And mix that until combined. Grease your pan with coconut oil, butter, whatever oil you'd like. I'm using three four inch ramekins so I could create a tiered cake. Then bake in the oven at 350 degrees for about 12 to 15 minutes. The cake should look nice and golden brown like this. Now I'm making the frosting with coconut cream. I had this in the refrigerator for a couple of days so the cream would harden and separate from the coconut water. You wanna chill your mixing bowl for a little bit and then mix the cream with the hand mixer. If your frosting is getting a little too thick, you can add a bit of the reserved coconut water to kind of fluff up the frosting a bit. You want it to still get those nice soft peaks that you would get with a regular frosting. Now this is a little extra effort, but we're juicing a beet to get the right pink color for the frosting, and you don't need much to get that color. You could also grind up freeze-dried strawberries and you would get a similar pink color. My father-in-law is frosting the cake. He's actually a private chef, so he was the perfect person to help with this. We're doing a three-tiered cake and it helps to add more frosting on the cake and then kind of smooth and remove it as you go. Dipping the spatula in hot water also helps to get that nice smooth look on the cake. I was going for a bit of a naked cake look here and then I added a flour on top. It is not edible. We took it off before we gave it to Lila. And here's the setup before the food. The theme was loosely wild one. So I decorated with a bunch of wildflowers and then I made these party hat banners by cutting out pictures of her face and putting little party hats on them. Now let's serve the bean. Happy birthday to you.